and welcome back to Redirecting. I had a friend of mine on Facebook share a video with me that I found to be very disturbing. Um, in the video, you can see a woman in some type of bath uh, where she's having the melanin literally ripped right off. Uh, they actually said that the top layers of skin uh, were coming off and uh, being peeled back. And you can see it in the video that uh, the top layer appears to be very dark and then what's being uncovered is very light. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and roll that video for you and then I will be right back. So it's time to wipe and wash at House of Feeder Body Care and Spa for 30 days. As you can see, it's very instant. You can see now it's peeling off and this is December period. So your instant body wash, your whitening instant body wash, it's very, very effective. Just for 30 k the result is instant at House of Feeder Body Care and Spa. As you can see, can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? Can you see this? It's so clean enough now. Just come to us and feed everybody can. But we get this done for you at thirty thousand naira. Can you see? Dead cells peeling off immediately and it's getting wiped immediately. Now, although the video is very short, uh, the video that I shared with you is very short, um, it is very, very uh, disturbing to see someone trying to have their melanin or the top layer of their skin stripped off for whatever reason, because a lot of our people are not pleased with how they look, and so they're trying to look like something else. Um, I find it interesting also that you have people with lighter skin or white or European people trying to look darker. And this whole identity crisis that people are faced with is very strange to me. But when I see a person trying to remove their melanin, this is because the whole world has taught them to be ashamed of what they look like. And so they're trying to look like something different as if no one will notice. That's the sad part about it all. Everyone is doing this as if they don't believe anyone will notice. More and more, we're starting to see not only celebrities, but just individual lay people. A lot of people in Africa on the continent, uh, people I hear um, here, here in America are starting to do it. Uh, people in various um, dark Negro regions of the world are trying to bleach their skin and not only are they bleaching their skin they are starting to wear the blonde wigs as well as if no one notices this is not you this is not a real person we are looking at but I don't think that a lot of people are considering the health ramifications of all of this yes we have seen some videos where people who have gone through certain procedures uh, they experience um, some major major um, sicknesses afterward or damages to their skin or to their body, uh, some that cannot be undone or fixed. But to see someone actually consenting to do this to their own body, it's like destroying the temple that you were born in so that you can look like something else. There's something that's happening with dark populations around the world. Because we marvel after an image that is not our own, we are trying to look like something that we are not. It's very disturbing to see these things, but this is what is happening. Very disturbing to see these things. When you go off to alter yourself, men changing themselves to women, women changing themselves to men, uh, people trying to strip their melanin away and getting diseases from it. You even have people changing their eye color, going blind. Just a number of different things are happening because people are trying to conform to an image that is not their own. It's very sad indeed to see dark populations around the world go through this and experience these things. Very sad indeed. But this is what happens 
as the world goes into more and more of a moral decline. Many won't agree that this is a moral decline that we see with people bleaching their skin and um, changing their whole appearance of getting injections here and there and having things stripped out and sucked out and things tucked up and lifted up. And I'm not talking about a person who was in an accident and they're just trying to reconstruct something that was broken. I'm talking about people who look in the mirror, don't like what they see, and they go to alter and change things. Women having breasts removed and things added so that they can be a man or men having breasts added and things taken away or added so that they can appear to be women. All kinds of physical alterations taking place because people are not pleased or happy with what they see when they look in the mirror. But looking at this procedure done, being done to this woman, it was very, very strange to look at, first of all. Um, I can't say that it was painful because she didn't sound like she was in any type of pain, but who knows what she's going to experience after the fact. That's the thing that gets me the most. That is the thing that bothers me. Okay, family, with that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.